Check. How do you check? You have to plug them into the originals and it has to satisfy both of them at the same time. Yeah. Do you know how hard it is to satisfy two things at the same time? Huh. Right. So let's go ahead and rewrite our system. X plus 2Y is 4. And 2X minus 2Y is 3. Now what we're going to do is we're going to let our point, we're going to let our point equal, what do we find it to be? 2, 1? Oh, that's fun. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to plug it in. Everywhere I see a 2, I'm going to put an X. Uh, everywhere I see an X, I'm going to put a 2. Everywhere I see a Y, I'm going to put a 1. That'll be fun. Let's go on. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. So 2 plus 2 times, what's my y? Oh, it's 1. Is that 4? Hmm, is 2 plus 2 equal to 4? Check! You are a solution. Nice. Um, let's check the second one. This was checking thing 1. Now let's check thing 2. When we check thing 1, uh, we replace the x's with 2's and the y's with 1's. Now when I'm checking thing 2, I'm going to replace the x's with 2's and the y's with 1's. 2 times 2 minus... Hey... That's not supposed to be a 2. And I'm sure you're sitting there screaming, Don't do it! Don't do it! Don't go in there! Don't go in there! Minus... 1, because that's my y value. And then that's going to equal 3. Does 4 minus 1 equal 3? Yes! So what can we say? 2, 1. You are a solution. A box. And a flap. Wait, that's not a box. What is that? It's a tent. Do you know why? That last problem was intense. 